Hey guys, I'm back with another action figure review, and this time we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Amazing Spider-Man 2 Deadliest Foes Ultimate Beetle figure. Uh, definitely a cool Vulcan figure. Uh, one I wasn't sure that I was going to pick up, but I mean, after seeing him, I just said, you know, why not? He's cool looking. Uh, Todd actually found him at our local Kmart, and, uh, you know, basically, like, why not at this point? Even though I already did have, um, uh, Boomerang, so I didn't need the Build-A-Figure piece, but I, I, like I've mentioned, I, I do try to, you know, I'd like to pick up more, um, Spider-Man villains if I have to pick, like, one Marvel character to start kind of branching out and collecting more of, so, yes, okay, let's start with the packaging. Let me put on the side for a second. Uh, again, this is your typical windowed packaging. Um... I do have the Build-A-Figure piece still in there because I have another one to show you from the Boomerang figure, as I said. So I'm just kind of leaving it in there for now. And so you see Deadly Exposed at the bottom. And again, at the top, since it's not a movie figure, you see it just has the generic Spider-Man logo <clears throat> as opposed to the Amazing Spider-Man 2 logo. Side art there. And then on the back, you have the two Deadly Exposed, which are Ultimate Beetle and Boomerang, both of which I have. And I will not, I have not reviewed Boomerang yet, but I will be shortly. And then on the bottom you can see the rest of the wave, most of which are picked up by now, and I'll, uh, I like to really find these two. <laughs> and Ultimate Green Goblin. And then the piece that he comes with is the left leg, which, you know, looks like a leg, and that has blue pants, and there you go. <laughs> so, look at the figure himself now. So definitely a cool figure, as I said, all original sculpt, nothing we've seen before in any other figure, though it does look slightly familiar, um, kind of s similarly sculpted to pieces of the uh, Bleeding Edge armor Iron Man. And, and not not really, but just, like, I don't know, I kind of get that impression when I look at him. He has that same kind of um, the red plastic that's not necessarily, like, shaded, and um, I don't know, I guess it's... It's kind of like a long shot, but it's just what it reminded me of. Um, and I guess because he's kind of looks like a... I don't know. If, I mean, I guess he has, like, armor, so it's, it's a similar look. But whatever. Anyway. Um, he is red and silver for the most part. Like I said, the red is that um, kind of almost... I don't think you can really see swirls in it so much, like the Iron Man 3 series. Maybe a little bit. It looks like it has a, almost a slight sparkle to it, but it does not have any shading. Uh, the silver doesn't either, but it it's, it covers pretty nicely over most of the red. Um, there's definitely some parts where it starts to kind of chip, like you can see that right here. Um, there's a little bit on his waist here as well. Um, but yeah, it does, you know, it looks nice. It's nice metallic silver. Um, and it, it, for the most part, is holding. There's some yellow parts painted on on his wrists here. On both sides. And then the eyes are yellow as well. And overall, he's definitely sculpted really well. Like, you, you know, it's nice to have a, a new sculpt. I mean, I don't know if they'll ever be able to, like, reuse it, so it's kind of surprising that they, they go to, to, to such lengths for, like, characters that people don't seem to be as excited about. So, um, yeah, but I mean, maybe they'll work it out. They'll be able to use his legs or something or his arms or for some other character along the way. He's got really big feet with these uh, two-pointed toes. They do have peg holes on the bottom, even though there are no, there's no stand included. And let me just give you another shot of the face here. So these these wings are, um, are like a, I guess sort of rubbery. So they move a little bit. And he's got like, you know, like the two eyes. Bug eyes, you know. And yeah. And so he has these wings, which you can see are painted you know, uh, gradient, like, green to light green on the inside, and then the back is red and silver. They do come out, as you can see here. So if you don't want him to have his wings, you don't have to. But I think he looks pretty cool with them, so I like to keep them on. I do find that they don't um, peg into his back particularly well. Like, they, 
they obviously they peg in, but they they don't. I I can't seem to get them to click like over his shoulders. Well, maybe I just did. <laughs> yeah, never mind. I just did. Whatever. <laughs> so they do actually stay in. Oh. Yeah, I think they stay in. Fine. Maybe I'm going crazy here. They're not like the best fit around, but I don't think they're gonna go flying off unless you like to throw your figures around for some reason. But um. <laughs> Yeah, no, for the most part, I think he, they'll be just fine. And I don't know if you can hear my cat whining in the background. <laughs> Not sure what he wants. Um, but anyway, uh, go through articulation. Let's straighten them out here. So his head does is on a ball disc, so you can see that there. Um, so it does go up, oh, and pop right off. So it does go up and down all the way and obviously swivels doesn't really do a tilt but um, he has bull disc shoulders that are I think I have they're a little bit stuck on mine yeah my right his left shoulder is quite stuck but the right shoulder you could see um, it does get it doesn't go as high as other shoulders on other figures because of these little sculpted like um, shapes on the top of his shoulder so it'll get to, you know, where they, where they, uh, bump into the joint and that's it. So that's a little, you can kind of twist them around to get them, you know, but anyway, it does have a bicep swivel, double joint, I can't do it on this arm, <laughs> double jointed elbow, a wrist rotation and hinge, and yeah, there you go. His hands are both in these kind of, uh, this kind of pose. You can see that. He's got red fingers. Uh, he does have an ab crunch that goes pretty much all the way forward. Not, not all the way, I guess. It could be a little better, but, um, it doesn't really go back that much. Okay, it goes back a little bit. It's going, it's a little bit more than some of the other figures from this series. Um, waist swivel. He's got T-jointed hips that go... Now that far out, forward and back, and his twist around really well on the joints. You can see it goes like really far back and forward. Um, there's a cut at the upper thigh, double jointed knee that doesn't go quite that far for a double joint. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. No sort of shin swivel, but he does have um, the pivot at the ankle and the. Um, rocker. So, yeah, definitely, you know, well done Hasbro on this one for the most part. You know, it's got its little problems, but what figure doesn't? Uh, but, you know, it's nice. Thank you for giving us, you know, a nice new sculpt to check out. Uh, you know, a new, new character instead of a rehash of another one for the millionth time, <laughs> even if it is someone that people don't seem to care about too much. And, um, you know, if you're, you know, a fan of, of Spider-Man and you're a fan of Ultimate Spider-Man, this is this is worth having, this guy. And if not, you know, if you'd rather have... You know, at this point, if, you, if you're if you trying to complete the Build-A-Figure and you're not, you know, you, you want to pick one or the other, I mean, you have an Ultimate Spider-Man villain to choose from or a Superior Spider-Man villain. Uh, it, well, I mean, Boomerang's obviously not just a Superior Spider-Man villain, but I associate this costume with Superior Spider-Man at this point, so that's what I can, I'm i happy to have Boomerang for that reason, so super, my Superior Spider-Man figure can fight someone. <laughs> but yeah, both are cool figures, and I'll have that Boomerang figure up, uh, figure review up probably after this one, so I'll do them back-to-back. -back. And uh, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, let me know what you think of the figure, if you're picking them up, what you're thinking of these legends. I know that probably most of my subscribers at this point are, are DC fans, but I've been really excited about this Legends line, and, you know, Mattel has got, kind of left us. And um, at the moment, I haven't picked up any DC collectibles figures, but I I did p place a large pre-order with Mock Time recently, so I will have a lot of DC reviews coming up over the course of this year. So... I'm going to really stop now, so thank you again for watching, and stay tuned for more reviews. Thanks, guys.